Hi everyone, with another one of our video analysis here on YouTube. Like I mentioned last week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we're going to be doing uh, an analysis on Euro, Dollar and Gold. And that way you can see what is our point of view, what's our bias on those most traded instruments. And hopefully that helps you in your own trading as well. And there's something that you can take away as valuable from those educational videos okay now we're also doing them um, in relation to our brand new website which is currently up and running uh, you can visit on trendlineforex.com and together with that we're doing this giveaway uh, where you can win a package of forex courses worth over thousand euros uh, you know that also includes 12 month subscription plan for free in our uh, you know private telegram group where you can receive all of our trading signals uh, you know market overviews a couple of times a day um, and a lot more valuable content you also get uh, around 14 hours of mentoring with a pro trader from our team and that's not all we've also got um, other prizes as well uh, you can win a course of your choice and many more so make sure to get involved um all you have to do is to comment below um each and every video that we post you know subscribe to our channel follow us on facebook there's gonna be a link in the description down below uh, join our free telegram group to see even more trading setups even more trading opportunities and most importantly like i said get engaged in the comments down below so we can reach even more people okay without further ado i'm gonna jump onto the charts and we're gonna start off with um euro dollar okay so what we see here is this drop that we had right here and that happened during the um interest rate decision right so that was actually that um, candle that happened during the news the one hour candle and i've mapped it out in this red zone which i am expecting to you know act on price as resistance okay we had this initial drop then we had tested it once pricing held sideways for quite some time had a couple of impulses here and it's currently testing that resistance again okay so although i believe that we could see uh you know slightly lower values here on euro dollar what we had actually was you know price trying to you know break below this previous low um kind of placed a wick below it but it didn't manage to close below it in a strong confirming way okay so that indicates to me that you know price probably doesn't have enough strength to continue um lower or at least much lower okay but at the same time it comes back up here and now we have this resistance which is also supposed to push price um to the downside so if we're talking about entries um at current price levels i would say that's probably not the best idea okay so i want to see if market will be able to um you know close above this previous high basically above this resistance zone or is it going to push lower? And even if it does push lower, how much room is there left to the downside? Because like I said, I don't believe there's much more. This move is kind of coming to an end. I believe that I talked about this um, in the previous video, but you can clearly see that with that last push to the downside, we then had a pullback and instead of breaking below, uh, you know, previous lows here and continuing lower, we just see those long wicks to the downside. So although we do have, or we did have a, a short bias on this pair, it's kind of fading away now uh, with those wicks to the downside, giving me an indication that, you know, there's a lot of buying pressure at this point. Okay, so currently I don't believe that we've got a clear trading setup here and I wouldn't want to trade at current price levels. Like I said, I'd rather be patient and not taking any rushed decisions that will result in a negative trade. Okay, instead of that, I would rather look at some other pairs and some other instruments which presents me with a much better opportunity. And one of them, in fact, is gold. Okay, here again, uh, we did have a sell bias because you see price was pushing to the downside all the time 
right? If you look at the daily time frame, you see we've got this resistance. Um, as soon as price reaches it, we've got a downside push. Another one here, another one here, right? We had this impulse all the time, but recently that was happening. But at the same time, we were getting these bullish impulses as well, also giving us an indication that price is most likely not going to continue much lower, okay? And those are the last pushes to the downside that we saw. And it all ended with this bullish impulse right here, taking price above this previous resistance, this previous high, this previous high as well, but most importantly, the level of 1810. Okay, again, we had a new candle here, a one hour candle, which was again our, you know, sell zone. And if I just extend it like this, you see price just breaking above it easily, confirming an upside direction. So it looks like we're not looking at a downside move anymore. And instead of that, I would rather look for long opportunities from now on. And that's what you're going to see from us in our trading view analysis, in our daily videos, whatever it may be. We're not going to be talking about um, any lower values here on gold. But instead of that, we're going to be talking about uh, higher values and possible entry opportunities um, into a long trade. Okay, now if we're looking at current price action, it really depends on what type of trades you're going to be looking for. Now, if you're looking for a long term trade, then that means you can enter straight away. Okay, with a stop loss just around 17, you know, 55. I mean, just below 1760. That's where your stop loss should be around those levels. And then you can expect, you know, higher values in the future. But if you're trying to, you know, get in and get out kind of a day trading opportunities and, you know, you want to um, exit at the next resistance, which is 17, 18, 30, excuse me, uh, then, you know, that doesn't give you a, a positive risk to reward ratio. And there's no point to, uh, you know, enter a trade here with a stop loss that low and potential profit twice as less. OK, so what you can do instead of that is you can wait for price to come a bit higher just around the 1830 level and that could actually happen today to be honest okay price can make that much of a move in a matter of you know a couple of hours okay you can wait for price to come up here test the 1830 level then come down here you know um test the 1810 or about 1800 level okay and then from here you can enter a long trade all right again you can use a stop loss down here around 1780 or if you want to be more secure you can use a stop loss all the way down here okay but again we're talking about day trading opportunities so really the stop loss that you should be using is um just at the level of around 1780 1783 something like this or even more aggressive stop loss will be just below the reversal so, for example, if that happens at around 1800 level, you can then use a stop loss at, let's say, 1795. And you can be targeting the, the, the um, resistance up here at 1830. Okay, so a pretty decent opportunity. Uh, watch out for price action here. Uh, again, if we are making any entries across any pairs, not just those two, but anything else from our watch list, uh, we always send out trading signals in our private Telegram group. Um, so if you want to join, of course, get in touch with us. There's going to be links in the description down below. Uh, but that's pretty much all for now. Uh, gold is definitely a much better trading opportunity right now. Uh, we've got to be patient with Euro dollar and um, I think I mentioned about dollar yen last week. Um, we still don't have an entry here, but pretty sure um, we will get one here soon. You can see that price is bouncing off this support and it's just a matter of time to see that upside push here as well. Okay, now don't forget to comment down below. What do you think of those setups? Is there anything else that you trade? Anything else that you want us to have a look at? Um, just get engaged in the comment section down below and that will increase your chance of winning, uh, you know, a package of Forex courses, basically a full Forex training worth over a thousand euros. Uh, you're going to get a mentorship as well. You're going to get um, an access to our private Telegram group for a 12 month period. So really great chance of winning a nice prizes. 
subscribe to our channel and expect a lot more videos coming out pretty soon. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.